Hi, Andreas here, one of the developers of Everspace. In this video update, I'd like to give you a few more details on the core game loop and the roguelike character of the game. So the first time you start the game, you'll find yourself inside the hangar of a big carrier. Here you simply select one of three different starting gears, and you're good to go. Each comes with a different set of weapons, devices and consumables installed, allowing different playstyles. After leaving the hangar, you will see a map that is divided into a number of sectors. You start your game by selecting a system of the first sector and will be taken to one of its orbits. You will explore it for resources and fight of enemy ships in order to loot them or to simply survive. You will need to collect enough fuel in all of the system's orbits in order to be able to jump to the next sector. This will take you to the map, where you select one of the next sector's systems. During your run you will get stronger by crafting weapons and equipment from a blueprint list. This list will get longer with each blueprint you collect. You will also receive credits from looting enemies and doing side missions. After dying, you will find yourself at the hangar again. You will have lost all of the equipment you have crafted during your run, but you will keep collected blueprints and credits. Prior to flying out again, you can spend your credits on the many upgrades and perks that will permanently boost your ship for all the following runs. When flying out again, you will notice that the map has changed, with entirely different systems being accessible. All the systems, you can see, will be procedurally generated, so every run will be unique and you will always get to see things you've never seen before. During your runs you will encounter numerous story characters. Who you will meet exactly where and when depends on the way you play. All these characters have proper storylines that are mixed and interwoven with each other, so that each encounter will be unique and different. When you die, you won't lose any narrative progress, so you won't have to sit through the same dialogues and cutscenes over and over again. On the contrary, your death is the key to unlocking further story elements and a necessary means of driving the story forward. That's all for now. Thanks for listening. Take care.